It's a job that looks glamorous on the outside, but on the inside, there's lots of hard work. Flight attendants are important people. They are responsible for making sure safety regulations are observed on board their aircraft. They instruct passengers in the use of equipment, like seat belts and oxygen masks. The captain, evacuate, evacuate. Release seat belts and get out. And they're trained to help passengers evacuate in the event of an emergency landing. Stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back. All of that comes on top of greeting passengers, helping them find their seats and stow their bags, serving meals, and coping with turbulence, air sickness, and occasionally with disruptive travelers. Flight attendants are often attracted to the job by the opportunity to travel. That opportunity comes with the necessity of working nights, weekends, and holidays, especially early in the career, because most airlines allow flight attendants to bid for the most desirable routes based on their seniority. If you're interested, you should apply directly to the airline to find out about that particular company's requirements for flight attendants. You should be in excellent health, be able to speak clearly, be able to keep your weight in proportion to your height, and willing to relocate. Many airlines look for college graduates, and for international service, the ability to speak at least one foreign language will give you an advantage. Then you can expect several weeks of intensive training and many months of serving as a substitute attendant. You need to project confidence, strength, and graciousness, because for most passengers, the flight attendant is the face of the airline. Here, let me help you. Oh, thank you.